Guess what, everyone? I feel good. I'm back! I'm back! Get up off of that thing! Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review the James Brown biopic film, Get On Up. So, Get On Up is directed by Tate Taylor, the director of The Help, which is a good movie. Starring Chadwick Boseman, Nelson Ellis, Viola Davis, Craig Robinson, Dan Aykroyd, and Octavia Spencer. So, this is the story of James Brown's life. You just see the life of him as a child and when he's popular as the iconic James Brown. So Get On Up is a film I was really excited to see. I am a huge James Brown's fan. His music is just so awesome, so soulful. He had the voice, he had the talents, he had the groove. This man, he was definitely talented and I wanted to see the film. So in my opinion, Get On Up is a good movie. I just have to start off with Chadwick Boseman as James Brown. Wow. This guy presents James Brown so well. He sounds like James Brown. He moves like James Brown. If he really is singing just like James Brown, holy crap, credit to Chadwick Boseman. He had the energy. He sounded like James Brown. The makeup on him, especially when James Brown is older, he looks really good. Chadwick Boseman just impressed me on every level. He really is becoming one of those new coming stars. I mean, he was impressive in 42. So far, that is my favorite film from Chadwick Boseman. And his role wasn't too huge, but he was really good in Draft Day. And now we have this film where... Uh, I gotta say, it's just plain awesome. Chadwick Boseman is definitely going somewhere in his career. With 42 draft day and now get on up, he's already proved to me that he's going to be one of the best actors coming in this generation. We have other talents here like Craig Robinson. Not in this film here too much, but he was really good for the part that he had. And it was something a little different because we're so used to Craig Robinson just being really jokey. But in this film, he's actually quite serious. Nelson Ellis, he plays James Brown's friend that stuck around for most of his life. And he did a really good job in the role. Then you have Viola Davis as James Brown's mother. And she did a good job for the part she had. And Octavia Spencer as the aunt. Just a very well done job. And of course, Dan Aykroyd. I really enjoyed his role, and it's actually one of the best I've seen from Dan Aykroyd in quite some time. Cinematography for the film looks really good, and the timelines for the film look like how the timelines are supposed to be. This film is quite unique in terms of like its editing, because at one point you're going to be in the 1960s, then you're going to be in the 1930s, the 1950s, back to 1930s, to 1960s. Yes, it goes so out of order with the timeline, and that could really distract some people, but for the most part, I did dig that editing style. And of course, listening to James Brown's music on the big screen is such a joy to listen to. There's classic songs like, I feel you good, or get up off of that thing. It's just so great to listen to all of these classic James Brown music. It's the same with what the movie Jersey Boys did where I'm like dancing around to the music. So good job to the film on that part. Seeing the life of James Brown, seeing where he's coming from with his childhood, you could understand why he's made all these mistakes in his adult life because of how harsh his childhood life is. It's well directed. Credit to the writers that brought this true story to life. I could tell there was a lot of makeup and credit to those people with the makeup makeup and the costume designs, those look fantastic as well. It really is such a well-made biopic film. Now I do have flaws with Get On Up, like one of my flaws I have with the film is like for the most part, while I actually dig the whole timelines going out of order, sometimes it does feel quite messy and it does feel very distracting. But there is this one point in the movie and it really got on my nerves. Without spoiling anything, there was a scene where James Brown and his elderly mother 
we're about to have a little conversation. Then the film just happens to cut off to another timeline, and then another timeline. And then guess what? The film does not get back to that certain scene until like 25 to 30 minutes later. Yes, the film took that long just to get back to that certain scene when they could have just finished that certain moment and then cut to another timeline. I think that could have been smart. I don't know what the editors were thinking when they did that, but it did really annoy me. And I do think the film does drag a little, but it doesn't drag on by that much. I would say like maybe by 10 minutes. Overall though, Get On Up is a very satisfying biopic film. It's well directed, it's well written, it's well produced, it's well acted, especially from Chadwick Boseman. It's great listening to James Brown's music and just to kind of mm, dance around to it. In my opinion, it's worth seeing. So I'm going to give Get On Up three out of four stars. It is a very solid biopic film in my opinion. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.